Hey guys, so I am here with another word that I wanted to share with you. I know this is going to help somebody. Um, I was fellowshipping here with the Lord and I'm reading up on uh, James 5, verse 13 through 18. It's called the power of prayer. It dropped on my spirit um, as I was reading this. The Lord wants me to connect with somebody who is feeling hopeless. You might be going through some hardships right now. And it's like, no matter what you're doing, no matter how many hours you work, it's just always something attacking your finances, attacking your health. Um, So the Lord wants you to know he has given you power in his name. You can come against that attack. I'm going to read this scripture to you, okay? And I hope it ministers to your spirit and sets you free and gives you strength. The power of prayer. Are any of you suffering hardship? You should pray. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. Are any of you sick? You should call the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sin, you will be forgiven. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Elijah was a human as we are. And yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, the sky sent down rain and the earth began to yield its crops. He's telling us Elijah is no different from us. We're humans just like Elijah, right? He literally stopped the rain for three and a half years through earnest prayer. So the Lord is letting you know, take control of your situation by doing what? Praying earnestly with faith. You have to believe through Christ, you have that power. We're not helpless. We're the children of God. Prosperity is our portion, not struggle. I'm going to take it to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. You know what's funny? I keep, I've been seeing 9 11 for the longest time, and today I saw it more than a couple of times. So, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Okay, so listen to this. Listen to this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Okay? In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortune. Wow. Okay. Holy Spirit, you're amazing. Okay. So it says, I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So, guys, the Lord does not want you suffering. That is not your portion. And some of you guys are feeling helpless and just waiting on him to just bring a miracle. He's waiting for you to knock on his door. Dad, Dad, I need you. I need you to hear me out. Father God, I need you to hear me out. I know I have the power to change this situation. 
So, Dad, this is it. This is what's going on. Daughter, son, I've been waiting for you to do this simple thing for how long? (laughs) Now I can show you. Now I can show you just what that act will do. I could just hand it to you. But I want to set an example and show you the fruits that come from that simple act of prayer. You'll see the fruits of having a prayer life. So I'm waiting for you to do that, to encourage you to keep doing it. Then I can help you. If you just do that simple thing, I can help you. I just want you to see that you have the power through my name. You have the power. I give, I've given you that. I've given you that power if you just seek me. So now that you sought me, here's your reward. Here's your breakthrough. Here's your promise. Here is your help. Here's my hand. Sometimes the Lord is literally just waiting for you to seek him in prayer, to go in your prayer closet wholeheartedly and seek him. And once you do that, Boom. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. So that's for somebody. Okay? You're going through some things right now. And it won't be for long. So praise the Lord that you just received instruction to your breakthrough. Amen. God bless this word. Listen, I just want to add one thing. I'm not being condescending. I hope this message doesn't come across like that. Some people might listen and say, I pray every day, all day. (laughs) Like, and my breakthrough still has not come. This message may not be for you, but also understand prayer comes in a lot of different forms. Fasting is a form of prayer. Uh, God may be wanting you to do a specific type of fast. He may be wanting you to pray more. He may be wanting you to go deeper. Whatever the situation is, let's all be open-minded, guys, that not everybody is at the same level as you in their prayer life. There are some people who are not praying at all, and this message will click for somebody. They'll they'll know, they'll feel it in their spirit that it's for them. Um, so let's be open-minded to the fact that Some people go through spiritual warfare when they try to pray. Some people go to sleep instantly because they're being spiritually attacked while trying to pray. So uh, they don't ever attempt. Yeah. Let's be open-minded and hopeful for our brothers and sisters. We're going to claim victory on today for somebody. I pray this was your breakthrough. In Jesus' name, amen.